Well, hey YouTube, how you doing? Uh, it's been a little while since I've done a, uh, a post of the video. And this is one I've been wanting to do for quite a while. I've been coming out here working for about a year, a little over a year. And uh, I'd like to point out off to the right, from this light down that way and to the next light, it's actually a um, fairly famous area. A lot of historical significance and uh, some amazing things were done here. And right now, there's people living here. So when we get up here to Jefferson Avenue, and I'm on Lincoln Avenue, so that should be the first little clue if you look on a map, especially an old map, um, around the World War II era, towards the end of World War II, kind of a site that kind of had some significance in a certain individual that did uh, some aircraft designing, some movies, and okay his name is Howard Hughes so to my right is what used to be Hughes Aircraft Airport Hughes Airport where Hughes Aircraft was uh, stationed or where it existed and Howard Hughes was one of the most amazing designers engineers that I think ever existed so there's the corner of the, the property here to the right. Went up that way and down this way. And uh, Howard Hughes started in 1932. He went to work for his family business, or in his family business, and they developed drilling rig heads to drill for oil. So that's how he made his money. He became the richest man in the world back in the uh, in the early 40s and so forth. Eventually his brain fried and he became kind of eccentric and weird, but sometimes that happens with genius. The brain just can't handle it. It overloads. So I'm going to take you all the way down to the far end. So this whole thing all the way down here was the Hughes Aircraft Airport and the runway. And right now, like I said, it's residential. There's commercial. Uh, there's some there's a special per group of people or a business that's in here that I'm going to show you also that I think has some significance to everybody that's watching anything on YouTube. So, right now this is a project I'm working on there. And there's actually three projects that I'm working on here. But uh, this, this area, this is the other one. This is where the uh, a very special aircraft was built. It's called a Spruce Goose. It was the H-4, the Hercules, and Howard Hughes hated the name Spruce Goose. It just galled him that it was called that because it just, you know, it was an H-4 Hercules, not a Spruce Goose. Because it had really no spruce in it. It was birch. And he had developed a, a, a composite plywood method of bonding the wood together that was just revolutionary at the time. So this is also one of the projects I'm working on. And um, this part of his genius is, is to build the, and still is, the world's largest aircraft ever built. And uh, it's 2015, it was built in 1945. That's pretty goddamn uh, amazing to, still sit here and say that this is the largest aircraft ever built. The wingspan was 320 feet 11 inches wide. To date, no aircraft has ever been built that's, that has a, a larger wingspan. And it did fly in Long Beach Harbor, very short distance. And then he parked it, never flew it again, pretty much an up yours to the, uh, the media and the government that canceled his contract. So, he built a few others uh, aircraft in here. One of them damn near killed him. Uh, it was a counter-rotating dual prop, dual engine, dual prop, or quad prop, I should say, because it had two propellers on each engine. One went clock counterclockwise, one went clockwise. 
and they both kind of spun with each other. So uh, they it came apart and he crashed in Beverly Hills into some lady's house and he damn near died. And uh, so I'm taking you up to the far end of the, the property that where the airport was. Um, actually, I think that might have been the street right there or up here. But at that one time, this property housed or uh, here it is, this is the top of it, employed, I believe up to like 15,000 people. Um, I'm going to put a link to a website that um, gives a history of the aircraft, uh, or the airport, I'm sorry. And right now they're, they're shooting movies in here right now, movies, commercials. I watched a Jack in the Box commercial get made for the Sriracha Burger. They, they did that one in uh, one of our construction sites. These are original buildings from the uh, airport. They've refurbished them. There's a little restaurant in there called Hangar 19. It's pretty good. We eat there all the time. There's different businesses. Uh, Fox is in here. Um, and then... They built... Uh, like There's Fox. So he, he designed aircraft. He designed helicopters. Uh, missile systems, the guidance systems, and things like that. So it was very uh, innovative. And this is the building that I wanted to really show you. These two buildings. This one, the son of a gun. YouTube. Yes, sir. It's YouTube's home. That's what I meant by a uh, little significance to everything and everything that you're watching out here. But this building to my right, this large building right here, this is the main hangar that the Spruce Goose was built in. And if you look up in the windows, you can see some of the arched structure that holds the, uh, the roof up. There are some old photographs in the webpage that I'll put the link to that, that are, have photographs inside this building and you'll see those. And uh, down at this end here is where they have a photograph of the the Hercules being towed out of the building. And it's coming out of these doors right here. So those that door slides open and the the fuselage was coming out. And so they've got a picture of that. It's pretty amazing aircraft. Um, the buildings over here are, I think the one here with the rust on it is original. But nothing else is. And the, the building you can see kind of over the top of the dumpster with the lines on it, that is IMAX. Um, they're out here now. That building is new, just constructed. And right now, uh, the projects I'm working on, about 1,500 apartments that we're, we're putting together out here with the three different projects. Um, they're definitely different builders out here. KB Homes is out here. Brookfield Homes is the property owner. And they're, they're, they're a good home builder. Um, everybody out here is pretty, pretty good. They're, some of the design is not really to my taste, but you know, hey, I'm not of this generation uh, style that's out here. It's a very contemporary style. And, uh, the people that are in the in this area, there's a lot of people that are in technology and movies and and YouTube, and I I don't know you know what they're like, but I see a lot of people around here when I go to lunch and it's a, the the way they're dressed, they're very hip. Um, so that's the type of, of architecture that is desired out here. It's not a not a traditional style. It's a very angular, very clean, very square. Uh, styling so um, that's what we got here another BMW yes sir got to love them so here's another shot of the other end of the building and some of the the things they've done with this building they use it for movies and uh, commercials and whatnot but uh, they've filmed several movies here I'd say probably the most famous is the Titanic that was filmed in this this hangar so they're just using it as a huge sound stage. And if you look down here, you'll see the, the, the doors are shingled. And so they'll just slide open and open up that whole thing. 
and uh, give access to that building. So there we are. This is Playa Vista, California, near Culver City. These buildings here are mostly open. They're they're not occupied. They're slowly starting to fill those in. And uh, another building getting started right here. So this corner, this is lunch corner. Every day we get some of the uh, lunch trucks pulling up in here. The gourmet trucks. And uh, over where the angular buildings are over there, there's a, a good restaurant that I like to eat at called Big Mango. The guys are really cool. Uh, super friendly. I'll go show you the popcorn. They're filming something over here too. So, this little outdoor theater, uh, they, they put on concerts, summertime events, and, and stuff like that. So, I mean, if you live in this area, this is, this is pretty neat. Got a little soccer field right here. Volleyball court, basketball. Guys are always playing basketball here at lunch. Then there's the uh, Jiffy Pop Popcorn Theater. Um, I don't know any other way to describe it, but that's what it looks like. A big freaking puffed up piece of popcorn. So they're, uh, they're filming something here. Uh, it kind of sucks, they take up all the parking. But uh, we came here yesterday and they had a crew all back in here. They've been working on it for a few days. Security guards hanging out all over the place. My bike got coned in yesterday and kind of pissed me off, but you know, they didn't hurt it, they didn't touch it. So anyway, that uh, will conclude today's little tour of the Hughes Airport. I hope you guys enjoyed it, and don't forget to hit the like button if you liked it, and give me uh, some subscriptions, I need some people. There's Big Mango Cafe. Um, so anyway, you guys have a great day. I am going to now get my butt over and do my job. So I will see you and talk to you later.